the heck is Joker looking at? Look at his eyes. There's nothing over there. What the cr Anyways, guys, welcome back to Persona 5 Royal. In this episode, we are finally doing the namesake of the game and actually making a new Persona. Because this last stretch of the treasure hall kind of scary. So we want to go in fully prepared. And uh, yeah, I hope you gathered Regent. Because if you did, congratulations, you're about to make a pretty strong Persona. In between episodes, I did gain one additional level. Just one. So we could prepare this fusion and uh yeah there's a lot of different personas you could be fusing for this next encounter which we're gonna do ahead of time but i want to make this one just because it's a persona that doesn't really get a lot of attention in the limelight and for good reason it's kind of gross looking and creepy but uh <laughs> we're gonna be combining up barith which you can pick up from kamoshida's palace well not anymore, because you can't go there, but you can fuse it in a lot of different ways. And the Regent to create Aerobus of the Hierophant Arcana. This persona will learn Marakunda, a very strong debuff. The standard Rakunda only hits one enemy, but Marakunda hits multiple foes, meaning it's pretty nice to grab. Unfortunately, this doesn't have really the stats that I want, so... Looks pretty tough. Yeah, it does. Okay, we get it. I want to do soft reset for a bit to get good stats. You know what? I'll take it. I can only handle doing that so many times. So, this is the set I want to go with. Magic, Endurance, and Luck. I'd prefer Agility, but eh, we'll be alright. So, I want to briefly talk about this fusion in particular, specifically with a Treasure Demon. When fusing with a Treasure Demon, Instead of gradually increasing the arcana of a persona, such as, for example, we take a magician arcana and a priestess, that will result in a new persona that is neither of those arcanas. The emperor regent, in fact, does something a bit different. You see, Barith is a hierophant arcana, but Orobos is also a hierophant arcana. That is because, depending on the treasure demon that you use, this will either advance or lower the arcana of a given persona, so it's pretty handy, and yeah, this uh, really creepy horse guy, I don't know, something about him I don't like, but you know what, we'll get by. So here's the problem, do we want to get Mighty Gaze or Intense Focus? Strengthen the magic attacks for one foe, while Mighty Gaze increases damage that hit all foes. I'll be honest, there's pretty tough fight in this episode, probably tougher than the palace ruler, so I'm going to be grabbing intense focus to deal with that. Now for the skills that we're passing on, which a majority of these all come from Regent, which is why it's such a strong persona, we want to grab, um, hmm, access to side damage would really help us out, but we mostly want to just grab the core multi-targeting spell attacks. We don't have Mabufu here, but we already have that on Jack Frost, so that's covered. So once you have Maragi, Magaru, and Mazio, you can fill in whatever you want for the rest. I'm going with, actually, Bless Damage, because we don't have access to that a lot. And assuming this fusion does not screw up, we should have ourselves a pretty strong new persona. Thank God it did not. All that soft resetting would have been to wait. Wow, he's so creepy. Me, Robus, I'll become your mask and show you the truth of the future you want. <laughs> cool, bro. So, uh, yeah, this uh, actual demon will join our party. Not just good guys are allied with Joker and will get access to Marakunda. All around, this persona is pretty strong. <laughs> we had a level 13 persona as our main. You might not think six levels matters a lot in this game, but it truly does. Every point of endurance actually adds a lot to your survivability, but now that we're done with that, it's time to head back into the palace. Now that we're a lot stronger, my god, I should have not stalled so much with the uh, fusing, but yeah, no. I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. Truth be told, I still love it, but uh, yeah, we're pretty close to what sounds like the last will seed, but as you'll find out, locating it is a lot trickier. Instead, it's another security room. But security written on it, isn't that nice? Whoa. Oh, control room! I think we can turn them lasers off? Uh, maybe. Let's try it out. Yeah. Hey, we don't need a password for this one! What do you want to do? Uh, turn off the lasers. That's what we came here to do, right? Eh? 
What the? This is bull crap. Huh? Nothing happened. Wait, it's running on Windows Barista? What the? Error. Only Lord Matarame can access his terminal to maximum security protocol. Ah, what the heck? There's no point in even coming here then. Hmm. Seems disabling the infrared lasers is not within the realm of possibility for us. Hey. Let's try the other ones too. Okay, let's just turn off all the power. Maybe that'll work. Oh, the laser's on a different grid. Uh, what is the meaning of this? I'm not sure. It seems we lost power, sir. The backup generator should bring it back up again in no time. Yeah, groovy. Ugh, what a nasty surprise. Could this also be? Hey, someone! Ah, oh, crap, that's not good. Came back on pretty dang fast! Yes, and the infrared lasers remain active even during the power outage. So we'll only be able to turn the power off in there for a second. Wait, Wait aren't those cars that just ran out headed this way? Uh-oh. Uh, what else do we try? We might get in trouble if we don't hurry. Okay, open the shutters at least. Crap, we gotta go! Dump! Hey, at least that one worked. Nice. It wasn't all for naught. But the guards are still on the way, so we gotta deal with that soon. Alright! Now there are more places we can explore. Yay. Ah, crap. Wow, the rug looks really nice here. Why am I so easily distracted? Huh? So you're the ones who tamper with the electricity. <laughs> crap, we got company! <laughs> That's the most, like, we're in a movie thing to say. I love it. Let's silence them fast! I don't like dogs. It's another series of long dogs. These ones are kind of wolves, though. I don't know, it's complicated. Anyway, the hunting wolf spirit or a Makami are weak to electricity. God dang it, Yusuke! What the? Ugh. They're weak to electricity, and they love using nuclear damage. It's kind of a pain. Luckily for us, we just happen to fuse a new super strong persona. Aerobus. Show them who's boss with your Mazio. It'll knock all of them down for easy all-out attacks. And I kind of do want to eventually recruit this specific persona because it's a part of the Temperance Arcana, which we'll be needing very, very soon, but we'll be all right. Hopefully we can get a um, knock down somebody else. Don't think that's possible, though. They're not weak to Maragi, but they're also not resistant to it either, so we might as well go for that. We got the burn. Which isn't bad, and Morgana still doesn't have Magaru. That stinks, but what are you gonna do? Let's get the useless technical there as we just try to survive more nuclear damage. But dude, that did nothing! Heck yeah! Actually, we haven't even shown Yusuke's gun. Bro, let's do that and. Crap. <laughs> I was so excited, I forgot they're weak to gun. <laughs> I dang it. I'm sorry, Yusuke. What are you gonna do? So, uh, yeah, Aura Boss. Pretty powerful, wouldn't you say? It's uh, kind of cr there we go, Magaru. Pretty strong, the one we have currently, uh. but <sighs> that was a surprise. <sighs> All we really managed to do is open the shutters. Indeed. On top of that, they can only turn the lights off briefly while the lasers remain unaffected. Oh well, guess we just gotta go and see what's past those shutters. Yeah, it's not all bad. I got. I just the will seeds are cool and all, but man, it it's hard to talk in that room because he's just so loud. He won't shut up about how cool his desires are. But we gotta do some impromptu healing, and at this stage of the game, we might as well use our um Kathy that we brewed in the blonde. I used two on Joker and two on more not Morgana. I'm gonna mix up Morgana and on. What I meant to say was and just one on Morgana. There we go. So we still have a couple lying around, and now we're in pretty good shape. Once we get the will see though, we're not really going to do any more exploring, at least in video form, because hey. this place is kind of done, actually. This is the last stretch of it. Unfortunately, some of these shadows in this room give me a pain to deal with, specifically this one, and I want to get the jump on her as fast as I can. Crap, I actually lost my cover. Let's try that again. Thank goodness. The cover mechanic in this game is really, really, oh crap, no! It's really good and forgiving, but God, yeah, that's Ame no Uzume. We do have side damage now, which is really nice, but it don't matter. We got ice, baby, so using this will help us take down the Calamity Shadow. Heck, we even got the uh, freeze on Ame no Uzume, which, yes, I will say her full name every single time, because that's her name, after all. I was kind of hoping she would join me after that, but uh, the Captivating Dancer, get out of 
here. A fun- Oh, I shouldn't talk about that yet because it hasn't been introduced. It'll probably happen at the end of this episode, but I'll take a free revival beat. Probably need it given how many times we've lost characters in this playthrough, but <laughs> they come back at 1 HP, so it's not a huge deal. So far, I think we're playing okay, but uh, I'm relying a lot of d on dodging, which I don't know. It's not my fault I didn't get hit. I guess relying on luck is not necessarily skillful, but I'm going to continue to do it, because screw it. We're going to open up this chest because it contains a pretty useful item for us in the form of equipment that boosts our agility. Yeah, the Zen outfit. Actually, not too bad of an upgrade, and I'm going to give that to Joker because, well, he needs it. Like, crud, why would you not want this? If you get hit too many times on Joker and he gets knocked out, the game's over, right? And I think we can pass on our old one over to Yusuke. Yeah, that increases agility a little bit more, which is pretty nice. And I like this view right here. You can see it. <laughs> we're going to take that treasure mod, Arame. Sooner than you think, actually, because we're pretty much done here. It's kind of crazy how fast this uh, palace flies by if you know what you're doing. But still got a pretty tough fight ahead of me. And... It pretty much comes down to random number generator bullcrap, which I'm okay with, but we have a new persona with us that'll tip the tail, tip the escape, not the tails. It doesn't even have a tail, why would I say that? Guess I got Morgana on the brain, but safe room up ahead, don't mind if I do. And all right, now it's time for the hard part of this episode. We still don't have that last will seed now, do we? So we might as well try and go get that. Unfortunately, the Guardian of the Will Seed is pretty strong, and what the? I got shadows here, too! I can feel a seed past this door. It might be a pain to get our hands on it, though. Right. Yeah, no kidding. This is a really tough battle. I want to make sure... Oh, actually, damn it. Crap. That would have been really bad. I want Uro Boss equipped just for this specific occasion, because this is going to be rough. No one's got to be tough. You guys ready? Yeah, let's do it. How did you... Uh, you know what? It doesn't even matter. Now that you've seen this place, you won't be leaving alive. Kind of like that dialogue exchange. It's like, huh, you've seen too much. <laughs> this room will only be your end. We'll be passing through. And here we go. The battle against Ada Habaki, the staple in the SMT series, usually reflecting physical attacks, but this time around, that is not the case. Instead, it's going to want to brainwash you and then hit you with psychokinetic damage, which is incredibly obnoxious. We could do the all-out attack here, but we actually don't want to. Instead, we're gonna baton pass it to On, so she can put this thing to sleep. Its first turn is going to do a very, very strong physical attack, and we don't want to see that crap, so it's getting healed a little bit. That's totally cool with me. Now, we want to go for Bufu. It's the only way Yusuke is going to be able to do any respectable damage in this fight. Luckily for us, though, we also have two wind users. This enemy is weak to that. Also, we can just do Dur Tarunda on this turn. Might as well. So we can maybe have a chance to survive its attacks. Back to Joker. We're going to cast Marwa up. we got to be careful on his SP because he doesn't have a ton. But now, here it comes. The Flash Bomb. A very scary move, but... We took down his defenses a tad. Now we're going to use Yusuke to use the alert capsule. This will help Joker out so we can get him back in the fight. Uh, this is a pain. Honestly, it sounds cruel, but Yusuke isn't a big factor in this fight. So we're just going to try and burn down the boss with access to Garu. Keep all out attacking. It's only going to be three people, but because we have the Marakuna applied... It will do more damage in the long run. I kind of have to think on the fly here because this fight can be a little bit random, but pretty much its end game is using brainwashing on you and using technical damage with its CO attack, which, yeah, it's a nasty combo. Not a lot you can do about it other than just dodging and exploiting its weakness, which, well, you know, we've kind of been doing for every fight in the game. You should be well versed in it by now, but unfortunately we're pretty low on HP. If we get hit again, it's all over, but he's a half HP himself. Here comes the Brain Jack. Come on! We got hit on Joker. That's the worst possible armor. <gasps> Maruki! He taught me how to control my brain, apparently, or whatever he teaches us. Are you getting it, though? Buffs and debuffs. Kind of the way to go, especially on hard mode, but just all out attack spamming. Is sadly how a lot of Persona fights go. Just kind of how it is. I don't know. 
I feel kind of bad because how would you know this thing is weak to wind unless you tried it? So it definitely rewards um, experimentation, which I could see, you know, some people complaining about. It's like, oh, it's just trial and error. Hey, I know about this mythological figure and I know that it's a stone statue. What if it's weak to wind? Because erosion. That's how I rationalize it. Why is it also weak to nuclear damage, though? I'm gonna get into that. I beat the boss, but, uh, yeah, our last will seed and... Oh boy, if you thought the last one was good... Woo, referring to Kamoshida's Palace. These ma magic potatoes, bro, they just... God, the power creep's ridiculous. It's like, <laughs> you think what's just powerful? Let me show you the power of vanity. Green, red, blue. The three starter potato Pokemon combine to this disgusting, weird thing. I don't know what to say during these. It's just always the same thing. But we got the Crystal of Vanity. And you're about to lose your mind. If, dude, if you're a hardcore SMT veteran, you are like, what the crud is this game? This is, this is my legitimate reactions. First time I saw this. Crystal of Vanity. Let's actually see what it does. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's wrong button. Nullifies weaknesses. What? Are you, are you for real? I just, I can't use it. I, I would feel, it's cheap. It really is. I mean, no, totally use it if you want to, but I like to have a fair fight. I have, you know, but no, seriously, that accessory is well worth it. Definitely grab it if you can take down Abahabaki. It's a uh, pretty tricky fight though. I'm really happy I did it on my first try. I'm not gonna lie. I was dreading it like this morning. I was like, oh, God dang it, please just be nice to me, bro. So much can go wrong in that battle, but. Now on to what we're actually here to do. That was just a secondary objective. So I gotta steal that treasure and hey, treasure thanks for being cool to me, bro. There's a couple of shadows I wanna grab. Predominantly Makami. If he spawned, that'd be cool. Hey, look at all these fluffy dudes. This is awesome. There's a bunch of guys being dudes. I love it, god dang. But they're not nearly as cute as my horse fellow. He does the most damage of all. But. No, uh, we'll just try and get Makami. This is probably something in the future I want to do uh, off screen or in between episodes, but I can't help it, man. Some of the lines they added in Royal are so funny. So, uh, no, that's actually the wrong one. Hey, buddy, how you doing? Give me a power. Let talk. Let's understand. Me lend you power. <laughs> this one seems gloomy. All right. Don't, say anything too Don't be forceful. Be kind about it. Me thought you not from here, you human. Why come here? Uh, I thought it was funny. <laughs> For the chicks, man! Uh, I don't know, I just feel like it, I guess. Mmm, you here because of instinct? Dangerous. Young human, me see you make effort to talk. There's something you want to say? Uh, crap. I want you. Oh, that's awfully romantic. Let me touch your paw. Uh, me not know what paw me- You literally have paws! But me threatened somehow. My hair standing on it. I just want to high five, bro. Me understand you better. Aw, oh, man. Actually, that's not bad. I'll take that. So, we're gonna have to fuse that guy up a you little bit later, or maybe I'll have to grind for him in between, uh, you know, infiltration of the palace and, All right. you know, when we actually send the calling card. But we'll worry about that later. This is a free chest. Don't mind if I do. We'll get a snuff soul. Kind of not really needed right now. The amount of SP it recovers is... Pretty cruddy, and in the future, very, very soon, we'll be able to afford an item that's like infinite SP recovery. So, if you can get past this palace, you should be fine from now onward. And please, yes, we got another chance at this. All right, let's see how this goes. Don't shoot. How about we trade? Nah, bro, I'm good on items. Let's talk. It looks so depressed. <laughs> D did you just say that, Morgana? That's rude. Me thought you're not from here, you human. Uh, he gave us this question the last time. Uh, I came here because I felt like it. Last time you liked that answer, and he did this time too. Cool. If you catch me, what you do to me? Um, I don't know. Nothing, I guess. Yes. Uh, time to find happiness and moment to battle. Oh! <laughs> awesome. So we got mocking me. My power is your power. Use it how you want. Thanks. Don't mind if I do. So, you didn't pick up the accessory that lets you do nuclear damage. This guy also has it, but also Shisa has it. So, like, you should have got that one also. I'm trying to think of it. I probably should have mentioned that. Not my fault. And now we are 100% out of SP. 
kind of rough, but luckily for us, that was like the last fight of the palace, so we're good. I still want to grind up a fair amount of yen, though, because that's not a lot. 80k? Eh, I could go with more. We need roughly like 100,000 and then a little bit extra for everything I want to buy, so I'll have to do some grinding in between parts, but that's all right. Eh, some kind of security room, too? It's got servers for some reason? No. That is most likely where all the mechanisms in the exhibit hall are controlled from. Given the number of hanging works, it would make sense to have a room dedicated to controlling them. Oh, the observational skills of an artist are out of this world. Oh, stop on. I'm just... <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Yusuke, I imagine. I'm a headcanon for him, even though artists usually get praised a lot. I feel like he's a little bashful, but... Yeah, look at that. Hey! Ain't this right above the treasure? Oh, look. They're running lasers above it. This is quite a large hole in their security. But what do we do? Jump down to retrieve it? We wouldn't be able to get out if we did that, though. Look up. Ah. Oh. A, a crane with a hook. The controls should probably be around here somewhere. Let's find them. Okay, so, <laughs> yeah, luckily for us, Madarame, even though he bought, like, 5,000 guards, and again, do you really buy shadows? They kind of just show up and it's like, all right, I'm ready to work, boss. They messed up this one part, and it looks like this is it. Hey, give it a try. Touch. Hey, it works just like that, and we get the Exploring Tokyo music again. Wait. Kind of odd, but stop, they're going to notice if you keep that up. Get back up there. Go, go, go. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> this could be useful. Do you have a plan on descending on that hook? Will they not spot you the moment you were lowered down? No, not necessarily. There's something I can do to make sure that doesn't happen. Morgana, you're a chameleon? Hey. Nothing crazy like that. I won't be able to do anything about the crane's noise either. Hmm, all right. Are you able to turn the lights off over in that other control room? Hold a moment. Only for a second, though. There will not be enough time to make it all the way here. That's why idea. we're going to split up the tasks. Work together to pull off this heist. One person will shut off the power. And one person will lower the crane, and I'll grab the treasure. You sure that's gonna work? Seems like they realize what's going on at some point. <laughs> Sometimes bold moves have the greatest payout. Unless someone has a better idea. Uh... Nah, I'm cool with this one, sure. Well said. You understand what being a Phantom Thief really means? Following my orders? <laughs> Alright, it's settled. Our infiltration route is secured. You gotta be kidding me! Now then, it's time for the calling card. Alright, that's your cue. We are all done here. Sadly, we didn't get a second regent to spawn. I was kind of hoping that would happen, but oh eh, well. There'll be other palaces where other additional treasure demons can spawn. I think we did a pretty good job. I think I highlighted almost every chest. If I missed one, my bad. I got the excess or the uh, armor that increases agility. That's the main one you definitely want to grab. As always, though, I want to make a safety save because we're playing on hard mode. The amount of EXP and money we get is reduced, and I need more money. Like I said before, roughly. Like, 30% more, and then we should be good. But, despite that, I'm gonna continue the episode. Just cause I feel like it, yo! Now that we're done with that, I'd say it's a mission well done. We pretty much did all we could do- Oh my god, what now? Inmate. You seem to be doing well. Let's fix that. <laughs> no. We're gonna get something Outside. pretty handy from the Velvet's room. Right now, actually. Can't believe they gave it to us this early. But they did. There you are, inmate. Our master admires the progress of your rehabilitation, and hence has given you use of a special ritual. It's the electric chair, used to sacrifice personas and transmutate them into high-level items. Any further questions regarding this ritual can be directed toward our master himself. He's apparently going to consider making even more rituals if your rehabilitation goes as planned. Work hard for it, inmate. And at this point in time, we can now do an additional ritual inside the Velvet Room. 
They can combine personas, yeah, but did you know you can combine? <laughs> did you know? You can combine an item and a persona using the electric chair, which we get a lot earlier in this version of the game, but depending on the persona and item that you combine, you can make some crazy combinations. Borderline game breaking. And uh, just for coming here, they're going to give us a Kokatana, which we can use to make a new weapon if we wanted to. We can also combine with skill cards, but I'll be honest, this is like early game crap. In the future, some skill cards are going to have crazy combinations, so it's definitely something you want to save for later on in the game, which is kind of strange why they gave it us in the beginning, but whatever. I won't turn down free crap. We're not going to fuse anything right away, but you can't not see this tutorial, so might as well have shown it off now. So later, I'm trying to head home because this crap was tiring. <laughs> I can't believe this palace actually gave me some trouble, but uh, yo, what is the matter? Is something wrong? You appear to be lost in thought. Nah, I'm fine. Shall we be off? Excellent. No problems at all. Shall we get going? Yeah, I guess we are all done here. Except for the tons of grinding I didn't do. Hey, Ryuji, what's up, man? Hope it was fun sitting back here. Nah, he actually... He moves around the palace with you. It's not like that, but... Secured her out to the treasure. Do you want to go? Yeah. Set out. Right. Oh, I'm still kind of worried, but... Eh, we gotta do this. Cannot even begin to fathom what Madarami's treasure may be. Either way, we'll steal it for sure. Oh, and you all did great today. Thanks, On. So, yeah, we did a bunch of bullcrap. <laughs> I want to do that every single time. It's hard to resist. Yes. Yeah. Sound like an idiot, but okay. I'm waiting for this. Anyway, when we gonna send it? I guess this part up to you, dude. Let us know when you need us. Yeah, it'll, it'll be like eh, literally in a actually two days. So we don't want to do it tomorrow. Uh, we want to do it the day right. after. Okay. It's kind of weird like that. And you did great today. You tired? Mm, kinda. All we can do now is send the calling card to Matarame. All right, it's finally time. Now all I gotta do is decide when we're gonna do it. Shouldn't we talk to Yusuke about that first? Uh, why? I mean, Matarame was his teacher. It's not our place to be deciding something like this. Ah, uh, yeah. True. Gotta talk to him about it. First. Yeah, this problem's bigger than just the three of us. Anyway, how about we all meet up at the hideout? Yep, sounds good. Okay, let me know when you want to meet, and I'll tell Yusuke. Why isn't Yusuke in the group chat yet? I just <laughs> guess we haven't had the chance to uh, give him our number, but uh, for tonight's activities, guess what? It's tree time. The only reason I know this is because it's written down, but uh, hey, yeah, we can give another bio-nutrient, just another boost to our stats. Eventually, oh. we're gonna be going over to a different type of bio-nutrients, which is why we just have one left. You're probably thinking, what the crud, this scrap's amazing. I wanna wanna keep using it. That's because, believe it or not, you can get even more if you use a higher quality nutrients. But uh, our secondary activity, it's time to finish up the X folders. <laughs> God, it's so stupid, but I love it. They're all dead. How could... Who could have done this? The larvae. It must have infected them. Got into their brains. We need to find those samples, Skullsy. Fast. What the actual crud. <laughs> uh. Whoa, whoa. Why would you preserve alien larvae? Curiosity killed the cat, you know. Morgana, shut up. Show's still on. Oh. So we finished the X folders. Wow. I bet you summoned a lot of guys. <laughs> summoned a lot of something. Just... I was always scared of aliens as a little kid, though, so I guess okay. that kind of makes sense. And let's return the DVD soon. Well, Other people have to watch this crap. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really, really want to uh, show all the parodies and stuff. So I don't know. It gets us talking about various forms of media, but. Yeah, dude, I remember, like, specifically, it's like my first year of sixth grade. I was just so afraid of aliens. I swore I saw them all the time, or at least UFOs. But I didn't. It's like my brain was playing tricks on me. I wonder what Maruki would say about that. Hey. Only 14 days before the exhibit ends. Aren't you going to send the calling card? Bro, we got plenty of time. It reminds me, TV Shopping Network pretty cool. Shut up! But, no, we... Have plenty of time. There's no reason to rush. It's a 
kind of bit anticlimactic, but no, we are doing things almost as optimally as possible. We're, we're gonna be fine, but yeah, it's Sunday, and it's been a ma Yusuke? What are you doing here? I guess this is where he hangs out. It's you. And if we steal Madarame's treasure, his heart will be changed, no? Are we sending the calling card today? Uh, I'm not sure on that. No. The exhibit will end if you waste any more time. Bro, we're gonna be fine. I gotta get my shake on though, yo. Welcome. Would you like to hit Sunday? <laughs> the onsen it, 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 made using hot spring water. This is literally made of bath water. Yuck. God dang it. That's quite a color. I would not drink that. Oh, there he goes. God dang. <laughs> the things I do nice. to become more attractive. It's attractive, right? Should be. You know, this is guts, actually. No, it's kindness. I was 100% wrong. Dump! Oh, yeah, we're getting guts in a different area. I knew my chart was online. So we're heading back to Yongin. Gonna head up the clinic. And we don't... Do we have a matching persona? I actually need to check that. We have Mokumi. Okay, we're fine. Hello, Takemi. It's been a while. <sighs> Has anyone ever studied the correlation with the rise in temperature and the rise in weirdos? You can come because you saw my message, right? Oh, I thought that was in relation to me. God. Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I made some refinements to the medicine. Could I have you come in? I'm already here. So, yes. <laughs> well, then. In that case, go into the exam room. Uh huh? So, this is the Takemi Medical Clinic of Internal Medicine? Oh, I'm glad it's still open. Sorry, I have a child I need to have examined. Uh, looks like I have a patient with an emergency. I guess our disgusting, vile medicine can wait for later. This is... Oh, God. And? So why come here? Aren't you under the care of another hospital? I heard rumors about this place. I'd like for you to examine her. She was diagnosed with bronchitis, but the medicine she was given hasn't been working at all. She had a fever that won't go away, and she's losing weight because she's not hungry. Sounds bad. A young girl losing weight is definitely not good. You should go to a bigger hospital. I can't provide a thorough examination here. Oh, we've been going to a big hospital. A university hospital in East Shinjuku. But all they told us is that it's persistent bronchitis. <sighs> a university hospital in East Shinjuku, huh? The doctor there performs exams like he's on an assembly line. I <sighs> think he's famous or something. A famous doctor, huh? I'm just a general practitioner. Out here in the sticks. As you can see, I don't even have any staff. But wait! I've heard there's a medicine that can only be acquired here! Please, I'll pay you! Please, at least just examine her! Whoa, bro. Hey. Hold on! <laughs> doctor? My chest really hurts. <sighs> Come on, Takemi. Help her out. Listen, girl. Dr. Takemi's amazing. She can save you. Probably. <gasps> what? Uh. Doctor. Please. <sighs> <sighs> Fine. <laughs> really dragging you around to do this. Mm. Is your vision blurry? How about your throat? Does it hurt? No signs of swelling. Hmm. Are you sure you've told me everything about her symptoms and treatments? You tried so far? Uh, yes, I'm sure. Hmm. She's on the case, I think. Hello? Uehara-san? Is Dr. Schweitzer there? There's something I'd like to ask him about a case that was in last month's medical journal. Wow, oh, she's actually pretty capable. I see. Guess the one in stock will have to do. There's a shelf by the reception desk. Bring the contents in the second drawer into the exam room. Uh, okay. You'll need to help me administer the medicine. Uh, yeah, I'll do it. Also bring the beaker with the red label in the fridge, a towel, wash basin, and measuring spoon. Fine. Well, what are you waiting for? Get moving! Uh, y yes ma'am, I'm on it. I'm not a nurse, but... Thank you so much. I didn't expect her to recover so quickly. Mm. It was a very unique strain of infectious disease. 
It can be detected by conventional exams. Temporarily suppress the symptoms. I'll make sure adjustments on her condition improves. Okay. That'll be one million yen for today. What? A, a million yen? That's outrageous! You're completely taking advantage of... Ugh. I mean, all right. I agree to pay. You, you can't be serious. You don't take credit cards, do you? I'll go withdraw some cash right now. What? Uh, wait, you're actually going to pay? Uh, well, by the way, that famous doctor you mentioned earlier, was it medical chief of staff Oyamada? Uh, yes. Are you familiar with him? I know it. In that case, I'll make this free of charge. What the? Uh, free? <laughs> well, you seem happy with yourself. You didn't even earn a commission, Takemi. What's up with that? <laughs> Doesn't it feel good? Treating his patient without his permission? <laughs> By the way. Thanks to your outburst earlier, I'm going to perform a very special exam on you today. Uh, <laughs> uh, so is he your assistant? Seems awfully, uh, young. Yes, my assistant guinea pig. He's about to put in a lot of hard work today. Aren't you? Uh, I feel like my mom with Takemi is growing even deeper. Man, this is incredibly awkward in hindsight. God, but I'm doing it. For the drugs! Yeah! Rank four! It's just like rank three. It doesn't give us anything extra. Except more EXP and. Uh, Doctor, can I go back to school now? Not for a while. You need to start eating and regaining your strength first. Can you do that for me? Mm hmm. Yes. Thank you, Doctor. Don't mention it. Your turn. I wonder what kind of response you'll have this time. Uh, maybe you won't even be able to make it home. I'm uncomfy, but I got guts, so it was worth it. Yeah, and man. Bye. The tension in this room. Incredibly awkward in hindsight, but uh, still not done. Uh, lady, I'm, I'm fine, really. Are you feeling now? Today's drug was a kind of rogue one, huh? What? But maybe it was just what my careless little guinea pig deserved, huh? What is wrong with you? Especially after approving that girl's consultation without my permission. All right, my bad, I guess, but like, come on. <laughs> I'll reflect on my mistakes, darling. Is that what you want to hear? Good boy. But I'm only letting this go today. Don't pun anything like that again. But you saved her. What the? the drug does seem to be more stable compared to the early stages, though. Probably thanks to your cooperation. Feels like I'm almost there. So try not to die just yet, okay? All right. Take care. I'll try my hardest. Got that fight with Matarame's goons coming up. We'll be fine, though, right? Probably. By the way, Joker TV, don't sh shut up! God! Literally, he's going to say that until you buy st oh, it's such a pain, but... Oh boy, we did a lot in today's episode. Mostly just beating our Habaki. That crap. <sighs> what a pain in the butt. But, uh, despite that, yeah. Now all we gotta do is send the calling card. And believe it or not, we're gonna do that in the next episode of Persona 5 Royal. I still have to rewind time and go grind up a bunch of yen, though. So my stats and some stuff will change in between parts. So just keep that in mind. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And see you next time. Bye.